we're not going to top that. Let's do the Metro. And remember, the FA are a completely apolitical organisation. If you ignore their rainbow shoelaces and Black Lives Matter T-shirts, Josh. Yes, uh, this is uh, England or the FA, actually, uh, refused to light up Wembley Arch in Israeli colours for the Australia match that's um, coming up on Friday. Uh, and what they've done instead is do this kind of mealy mouth tweet where they put out and they said, uh, on Friday evening, we'll remember the innocent victims of the devastating events in Israel and Palestine. And when I saw that, I retweeted it basically saying, you know, what we're going to do... Uh, uh, a, a, we're going to remember the innocent victims of the Manchester Arena attack and ISIS terrorists or the World Trade Center and Al-Qaeda because this you, you, you can't just commiserate or you, you, uh, one of these things you mm -hmm. know what I mean it, there will be Palestinian innocent lives and that already have been lost but we can just still go wait a minute this was an unbelievable um, the worst terrorist incident and arguably in modern times, certainly in terms of barbarity and whatnot. So to, there's nothing wrong with just um, to, to, to show your uh, support for, for Israel or, your, you know, your thoughts, to give your thoughts to that country. Uh, by just by lining it up. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they, they put up the colours of the Ukraine flag. Innocent Russians will still die, but they didn't go, yeah. by the way, we want to talk about the innocent... France, they put yeah. up with the... so it's Brent ludicrous. Brent and yeah, it's very frustrating. And especially when you look, I mean, what they said about Black Lives Matter, this is still on their side. They say, they talk about how they support Black Lives Matter and will be supporting players who take the knee. Mm. And it's all very clear. So when they got involved with that, Steve, they sort of crossed the Rubicon. They, they got into politics. Now they claimed, oh, we're apolitical. It's just an anti-racism movement. Lo and behold, Black Lives Matter, we've seen more and more is an extremist group. They even won the founders as basically called for the eradication of Israel. So they can support that, but they can't support Israel now. That's what bothers me. Maybe this is the opportunity to get football out of politics, or politics out of football. But I, I'm not a football fan, so I have less skin in this game. I look at these, this entire story and re read when they put various lights on various parts of the building. I don't think it made that much of a difference. I don't think Russia would have won quicker if uh, they'd have put some lights up. So maybe we could just get football. I know people have an obsession with football, I don't understand. Just not getting involved in these things. Well, that would be great, but it's it would, too late it? because they already have by getting involved with BLM and all the LGBTQ stuff. And my point, Steve, is not that you care about football, but it's what does it say about our yeah. attitude oh, towards yeah. Israel and, and the sort of leftism that's encroached upon every day life. Yeah, well, I mean, I think they should, if they have done various lights before, they should do it now. But could we not take this as an opportunity to realise some of these are just virtue signaling? People sit on this table and moan about virtue signaling. That's what this would be. Let's just... I don't know if it's virtue signaling. It's, it's signaling for, for, for genuine uh, solidarity, for solidarity and, and, and for morality. But would, really? you, would you believe that the FA mean it just by the lights that they show? No, but it... It's like when it's, when it's on number 10, when it's across Parliament, that says that this country offers support. But the FA... Yeah, I, don't but I, 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 I know what you said, maybe it's a football thing. I'm not, I'm not into football either, but it yeah. does mean uh, the game and... It does mean a lot for people, and it does also bring people together. Yeah, to me, it's not. I, I'm a football fan, but to me, it's not the main point. The main point is these kinds of institutions. They can give us one type of political message, but they can't. So give it's us, the hypocrisy. It's the hypocrisy yeah, and, and the immorality that you say.